it's Kevin here. Um, I'm back with the super old series that I should have kept up with uh, last year, but kind of sort of fell off. Um, grill grabs. <laughs> oh, they sound like I'm grill grabs. A oh, grill grabs. Grill grabs. I have the list that I wrote out. So this time's grill, or this I guess this episode's grill grabs is gonna be college student budget edition. So I wrote some rules for myself. It is all items must be found on the core section, which used to be the basic section. Um, and all items cannot exceed over $150 of value. So um, yeah, this, this, the sacred text. So first up for outerwear is I have the North Face Vintage Green Jacket in a size large. So this jacket, it's just for like that almost like hipster vibe. Um, the seller of the jacket says that like the color isn't like super nicely like represented and then they included a bunch of pictures and all of the items are gonna be in the description down below. So do check them out. You know, like it's a good vintage vibe like I said before and it's a relatively good price for a vintage item. So if you guys, do need like kind of like a decent jacket for you know the cold spring or it might still be more like winterish you know like weather for wherever you guys are at definitely do pick this up next up is a Ferris vintage bomber jacket in a size small I think this bomber jacket looks fucking sick this jacket looks a lot more expensive than like what it actually is because I can easily see this on like a Gucci runway I can also see this at like Balenciaga I can also see like fucking somebody as bougie as like I don't know like G-Dragon like wearing this shit and this also looks like a good piece to where you can do like DIY customizations you can like spray paint some decals and stuff like that so you can definitely like customize this so that's why I think this is like a perfect item for somebody who will be going for that sort of vibe. Last up, we have a vintage Nike ACG Rain Wind Jacket. Um, I think this is a collab with like South by Southwest, I believe. Um, it's just a good like overall jacket. This is the ACG prior to when, um, when Aerosyn Hugh and um, Joanna, or Joanna, I'm probably saying her name wrong, when they rebooted um, the Nike ACG line. So, when Aerosyn rebooted it, prior to that, um, it was more of like a mountaineering gear, a lot more like utilitarian, utilitarian uh, vibe to it. So this is more of that era of ACG. So if you do want to go for that type of look, you know, totally up to you. And I included a bunch of extras just in case some of these items do sell out. So the extra number one is a Nike sportswear black canvas jacket. Extra number two is an Alpha Industries men's jacket, it's an N3B soft shell. Number three is a Ralph Lauren polo jeans puffer jacket. Next up is, and the last extra for outerwear is the Nike Solan Nike SB uh, jacket. Next up for tops is we have a Wings and Horns pinstripe hoodie in a size large. So, you know, like this is like Wings and Horns, they have amazing basics, they have really good construction, so it's just something you can't really go wrong and why like, you know, like they do have like multiple collaborations with Adidas and their products just overall, they last a long time. Next up, we have an undercover Uniqlo collaboration tee in a size large. This does fit more towards like a medium because this is Japanese sizing. Um, it's just a basic tee from the collab. You can't really go wrong with it. It just says UU on it and it just looks pretty sick. Last up for tops is a John Elliott Dune Classic Crew in a size medium. So John Elliott does fit a little bit more long line, so this is gonna fit a little bit longer than normal. Um, this is probably like my favorite tee of all time. I've had multiple of John Elliott's crews and they always fit me nice and the materials are good. And I have a bunch of extras as well. So extra number one for tops is a Supreme Regretter tee. Extra number two is a Rag and Bone Basic tee in an olive green. Um, extra number three is Wings and Horn Black Slub tee. Extra number four is a bait shall never uh, bait ape shall never kill ape long sleeve. All right, for bottoms we have a nudie jeans tilted tour cold black in a US 29. So this black pair of jeans, nudie jeans, always makes like amazing quality and amazing feeling jeans. Um, usually I do recommend for all jeans and all bottoms for you to get them tapered and tailored to whatever sizing. But nudie jeans they have probably one of the best fits 
of all time. So you should definitely check it out. And for this, this is actually a really good price. Next up, I have a Kohler Clothing Lane Denim in a US 34. Kohler Clothing, I've seen them on Instagram a few times. They're more of like a fear of God, like distressed denim, um, that type of style. So if you guys are into that, definitely check them out. Um, and from what I've seen, they have pretty decent denim. Last up is a Naked and Famous stacked guy in a US 33. Um, again, Naked and Famous, probably just as good as Nudie Jeans and Acne um, Studios, you know, except not as hype, but they do produce extremely high quality garments for, a, you know, like a relatively good price. All right, and for the extras for the bottoms, it is um, some Nudie Jeans Cape Ted, uh, Nudie Jeans, Lean Dean, um, Nudie Jeans Dean Dry. Uh, it is some Japanese brand with some cargo pants and a G Star Raw Power 3D Cuff Pants. Now for footwear, okay, so this is my favorite part. So for footwear, we have an Our Legacy Vans collaboration. It is their Authentic Pro LX in the US 8.5. So they use ballistic nylon upper, so it is going to be water repellent. Two, they have extremely high construction, like our legacy is known for their extremely nice construction and I believe like the quality control on this was, you know, like it was A1 because I've had, um, I've had some of their collaborations and they've all been relatively good. Um, the Nike Lab pocket knife in the US 11. So the pocket knife is kind of like one of the more interesting, I guess, models to come out of Nike and I do look forward to picking possibly a pair up soon, but this is a fantastic price. And number three is an Ultra Boost Pearl 3.0 in a US 11 and a half. So it's a comfortable ass shoe. It's for under 120 bucks. I, you know, like if you guys need a beater shoe, if you guys just need a simple shoe, like an Ultra Boost 3.0, you can't really go wrong. And here's some extras for the footwear. So we have a Ubic New Balance collaboration. It is a sample for their NCE 1600. It's their English Crown collaboration. You should definitely check it out. Um, it looks phenomenal. I wish it was in my size because I would have got it. Um, we have the Adidas Japanese NMD. It is the gray ones. Um, we have the Nike Airsoft Racer Ultra Fly Knit. Uh, I did a review on those. Um, there's also the Nike Free Fly Mercurials. Those are really hard to find and this is in fantastic condition. And last but not least, it is the Nike Free Hirachi Carnivore uh, SP. So I wish I could find those in my size as well, but yeah, so that is gonna be it for the budget uh, edition for Grill Grabs. Comment down below what you guys thought about this, if you guys picked anything up in this list, and if you guys wanna see you know, specific topics, like maybe if you guys want like a monochromatic um, Grill Grabs, or if you want like, you know, you know, Valentine's Day gift, you know, Grill Grabs, definitely comment down below what you guys wanna see in Grill Grabs, and I'll try to keep this consistent. I'll try to keep it at least two times a month. I will might even throw in an extra episode here and there, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was Grill Grab Student Budget Edition um, 2018. Uh, it's looking hot, so I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.